Hey, what's up Jailbreaker? So today I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a different video. I mean, it's not like it hasn't been done before, but it's never really been this easy. And uh, especially to be able to do this to a, a fresh restore that's not being signed anymore should be pretty awesome. Anyways, it's called Cydia Impactor, and this is going to allow you to unjailbreak your device. Now, I've got my iPhone 6 Plus here. I chose to use this device instead of um, another iPhone or an iPad because I've been having some issues with it. Uh, I find the jailbreak is very buggy and I'm not too sure if it's just my current setup or what it is. And this could be the case for you, so that's kind of why I explained it. Uh, anyways, this is going to be in beta right now. You may be watching this in the future and it's not. So it's just advisable uh, if you have an iPod Touch 6th generation uh, to check and make sure that it is compatible because at the current moment it isn't. This should work on all iPhone and iPad and then the iPod Touch 5th generation. Now, to find Cydia Impactor, you're just going to have to go to the search bar just at the bottom here like you've seen here. I'll do this. Uh, in Cydia, you go search and then you would type in Cydia and then space IM, you'll see Impactor. And here we are. So, this is what we're going to install onto our device. It does explain here this is in beta and that this will destroy all the data that is on your device. So, let's install this application. Now, it's an application that you would just install like regular. So once that's complete, you can just exit out of Cydia, and you'll want to go over here, and you'll see the impactor. So we'll want to open up this application. Now, you want to be able, you want to read through this quickly, make sure that um, everything uh, you've gone through all of this. Now I'm just going to kind of go through the brief what you guys need to do to do this. Um, still, when you go to do this, just read this through here. So uh, this will return your device to a stock iOS firmware, it'll preserve your firmware version so you can jailbreak again. Uh, so if you tap the bottom of the screen there, you should know it's going to delete all of your data. You need to be connected to the internet. You should not be on a low battery, so I'm at 80% here, so I'm okay. You need to avoid doing anything on the device, and that is very important. Once this begins, leave it alone. Uh, you will see a lot of text going on now. This is going to go for quite a while and may seem to freeze up or do whatever it does, you just need to leave it alone. Uh, you will need to reactivate this device after you're finished, so make sure you have a SIM card kicking around. And you can use the jailbreak again. So I'm going to hit this here and go, are you sure? And then we're going to confirm all. And then you can see here we have a bit of a loading bar. And this right here, this is downloading and extracting the firmware and reprogramming it so I'm gonna be quiet now and we'll just sit here and watch
So the device is in a reboot now. I will assume that uh, we're coming up now to what would be seen on a fresh restore, the welcome to the iPhone. Uh, so that's how you do the full restore uh, of your device jailbroken. This way you won't lose the firmware you're on. So in the previous months or previous future months to come when iOS 9 is available or even iOS 8.4.1 and above that may not be jailbreakable this will be a way to preserve the jailbreak and restore the device if you're having some issues so this is back now to a stock firmware no jailbreak I can jailbreak it again uh, it's done using an over-the-air trick and uh, just like you see here it's a brand new iPhone all over again so yeah that's pretty awesome guys um, so if you're wanting to remove the jailbreak or maybe try again this way you could remove your jailbreak and then re jailbreak again if you're having some issues like I'm going to do now here and this is also a great way to sell your device if you want to wipe it completely sell it in a jailbroken state where you can say yes it's a jailbroken firmware uh, that also gives you those options so thanks for watching, rate, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time. Cheers.